So this lab will uh, help you to create the first um, map using QGIS uh, uh, and give you a quick overview of the functions in QGIS. If you look at um, this um, desktop, uh, this is my desktop, mm. and this is um, the layout of the QGIS. And it's pretty much the same as our ArcGIS software. You have menu on top and then a bunch of icons, uh, toolbars and, uh, under the menu. And uh, the browser is pretty much the same as Arc Catalog. So you can uh, import your files from the browser directly and layers are the table of contents uh, in ArcGIS. And uh, remember, we have our data loaded under C drive. So I'm going to load the data and using the browser. C drive, geography 2500, lab nine, packages, natural earth, quick start, and uh, scroll down the, the toolbar and uh, you will see um, this map file, the QGIS map file called natural earth quick start for QGIS v3 double click and then the map will be loaded uh, one thing you may be noted you 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 know you may notice is um the language is not in english so we are going to first change the, the setup of the language so in order to do that uh we're going to go to project and then properties you are able to see uh, a bunch of properties of this current project. And uh, you may notice that um, there are a lot of uh, tabs in here. So I'm not going to go through every one of them, but I want to mention two of them. One is called the CRS, uh, which is uh, uh, called the coordinate reference system. And this is the same as coordinate system in ArcGIS. And now we are using this coding system called uh, Web and WGS84 Pseudo Mercator. And uh, if you want to change it, you can click on another uh, coding system here and uh, OK. So I'm not going to change it uh, for the purpose of this uh, practice. But remember, if you are using making a map with your local features, such as a map of Connecticut, you always change the Corning reference system to uh, a local local one, and uh, the, and uh, to change the language, it is under variables, and uh, there is a project uh, language listed under project, and now this is in uh, it is called name underscore el and this is actually in greek so welcome to change this to en which represents uh, english so after that don't forget to press ok in this box and then you may notice that this is not changed because you have not fresh it you have to click the fresh button uh, on the menu or F5 using your keyboard. Now you see uh, everything is changed to English. So the next step, we're going to use some toolbars uh, in QGIS to navigate the map. So the pen is pretty much the same, the most uh, useful tool for navigation. So you can just uh pan around the globe to see different places in the map and the second is called pan map to selection so if, if you have a selected feature you can you know zoom in not zoom in but uh place the feature in the center of the screen and uh, this is a uh, zooming and uh, in order to use this you just draw a box for example here i'm going to draw a box around uh the connecticut area so it will be zoomed in and zoom out by drawing a box as well 
And this one is called the Zoom 4, which is a uh, uh, zoom to the full scale of the map. And uh, remember, we this is a world map, so you cannot see it very clearly if you use this um, uh, tool. And this is zoom to selection. If you have a select feature, this is like uh, to find your feature um, in ArcGIS. And the last one is called zoom to layer. So if you have a one layer selected, it can be zoomed to that layer. So now I'm going to use this tool called uh, zoom last to get back to our last view. Make sure uh, you, you are um, you have this Z5 uh, folder checked. There are different folders. They are just different scales of the map. Have the Z5 checked and under Z5, you can actually turn on and turn off the features. It's pretty much the same as what we did in ArcGIS. So we have, um, uh, zoomed to this Japan area. And uh, so we're going to uncheck two different uh, items in here. Well, this is just for your practice. You can definitely, and you know, uh, check on and off other items as well. So the first item is called uh, NE underscore 10 meter geography marine police. So let me find it. So this is under here called the NE 10 meter geography marine poly. I'm going to uncheck it. And uh, the second is called NE 10 meter admin zero disputed areas. So this is uh, further down somewhere else. It's right here. So let me uncheck it. So, mm, and the, the second is called NE 10 meter admin zero disputed areas. So this is uh, further down somewhere else. It's right here. So let me uncheck it. So um, after that, um, you can zoom into this Japan area and make sure you, you include uh, Hokkaido, which is a uh, Northern island of uh, Japan in your map, because we're going to create a map view uh, for the area. So, okay, so that is good. And now different than the ArcGIS where we have our data view and the layout view, and the QGIS will allow you to create a new map using a function called layout. So how can we create a map out of this scale? You go to project, new print layout, zoom into this Japan area and make sure you, you include uh, Hokkaido, which is a uh, northern island of uh, Japan in your map because we're going to create a map view uh, for the area. So, okay, so that is good. And now, different than the ArcGIS where we have our data view and the layout view. And the QGIS will allow you to create a new map using a function called layout. So how can we create a map out of this scale? You go to project, new print layout. So now you're going to create a map and here, the title would be the title of, it's not the title of the map, but the title of the, the layout. So here uh, you can leave the empty and click OK.
So here is our layout view. As you can see here, and different than ArcGIS, we do not have a, a automatically generated map. We need to add all items by ourselves, including the map itself. So in order, to, in order to do that, we go to add item, add a map. Then you want to draw a box where you want to display your map. So here we can see the Japan is within the display area. And the second step we want to do is to uh, scale the map a little bit. To, to do, do that, we go to main properties of the map one, and we type in a different number, which is 10 million. So one and seven zeros. So QGS is very precise, as you can see from here. So after you enter this number, you can see the scale is changed a little bit. And if you want to further adjust the map itself, you can consider using this move item content to move this mapping area a little bit and then adjust the scale if needed. So next, we want to add a, a background to this map where you want to put all your uh, other items such as north arrow, scale bar, etc. To do that, we add a shape which represents the background. This can be done from add item, add shape, add rectangle. Then you want to draw a rectangle in the um, upper left corner of this map. As you can see here, the background is white, is kind of odd, and, and doesn't match the background of the map. So we want to change the color of the background by going to style and then choose color. You want to find a color that resembles the, uh, the map. So let's find a, a blue color and you can change the darkness of the blue if you want to. And after that, click the go back or the uh, triangle icon, then the map uh, background is generated. Let's add another item, which is North Arrow. And there are two ways to do this. One is to go to add item, add arrow, and then, oh, not from here. So add item, uh, add north arrow. Then if you want to draw a, a north arrow, it will be um, displayed on the map. So that's the first way. The second, ArcGIS actually has different style of north arrow, which is under add picture. If you go to add picture and draw the area where you want to display your north arrow, and uh, there's a, a picture source where you can find different nose arrows. And this is under search directories. And here, um, the search directory will give you different options. And let's find one that you like. Next, let's add a scale bar. Add item, scale bar. And then the same as North Arrow, just draw the area where you want to place the scale bar. And if you want to resize scale bar, you may notice that the bar itself doesn't change. So in order to resize it, we need to uh, adjust it under the item properties. If you scroll down this item properties, you can see there are uh, properties to set up such as uh, the unit and we keep it as kilometers for this assignment. And the, the size of the scale bar can be, changed, can be changed by this segment. Uh, under the segment section, change the 100 to 200. 
and then the scale bar will be changed to 200 units. And the last thing we want to add is a label or a text. Um, so let's do add item, add label, and the draw box. And for this label, let's type in Japan. And of course, you can see this is very tiny. And if you want to change the size of the label, go further down and click on the font and then change it to a larger size, such as 36. And lastly, we want to add another label that shows the source of this map. So draw a box here and add the source. So you can type in the same in, as in the instruction. So let's do. So let's type in uh, the data and the software credits such as net ways QGs are using natural earth data and then make some adjustments. Then the map is made. So I would recommend saving the project every 20 minutes so you don't lose the progress. And in order to generate the map, Go to layout. You can ask for the map as an image or as a PDF. So for the purpose of this practice, we export as an image. And then you find a place under your uh, computer and then save. And when you save, you will be able to adjust uh, the properties of the image, such as a resolution and make sure it's 300 